YouTube friends. Well, I'm going to try and do this video for you because I want to unbox this. I've waited for a day. I have been so busy and then my allergies are crazy. We've got <clears throat> a lot of crepe myrtle trees behind us that are in full bloom and my voice keeps coming and going. So please bear with me. <laughs> and the lighting today is not great. So I'm in my room with a chair because yeah, it's just overcast today, but it's going to be I think over 110 again. So this is not been a great summer so far. So anyhow, with all that said, I decided to check out Portland Leather Goods again. I don't know, I got a pop-up about a sale of some sort, but honestly, Portland Leather always seems to have the same sale. It's like after one goes away, the same sale comes back in a different format. So they'll give you a different discount code, but it's really the same sale. I noticed that these bags are still the same price. So they kind of make you feel like you're getting a deal when it's going to be the same deal that you get week after week. <laughs> I don't know if they ever go back to their normal uh, suggested prices. I think maybe once or twice I've seen it. <clears throat> but I wanted to try out this style and especially with this limited edition print. So let's see what it is. I have been looking at uh, the accessories they have with this print for a long time. And for a while, it seemed like they only had it available for their circle bags, which I kind of like them, but I just knew I probably would not wear them for whatever reason. It just doesn't seem like a practical style for my lifestyle. So I was holding out for a different design with the same <clears throat> leather, and you'll see what I mean. I have it upside down here. Ooh. Uh, oh, they did. Send. Okay, good. This is interesting. Okay, so it's not. Oh, I forgot I got two things. I forgot I've got two things to unbag here. So this is not how I was expecting it to be, and I was kind of scared. So this is the raindrop bag. And it's in the color Nutmeg, which I already have some of and I like because it's so soft. But this is the Folklore design. And the other side has this beautiful embellishment with leather and stitching. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love that print. And they have it on the rain, I think it's the Rainstorm, the bigger size. <clears throat> and I don't know. I felt like the placement of the flowers on the raindrop was cuter because they're, of course, a little closer together and smaller because this is the small one. Very cute, but I thought it would go all the way around. It's only on the front, which I actually prefer because if you want to carry this bag and not have the embellishment showing, you can do that. Very cute. I'm surprised. I was worried they accidentally sent me the wrong thing. And this one is not... A uh, seconds bag or what do they call those? I can't even remember at this point. Oh, the kind that are a little bit discounted because there's a little flaw in them. Almost perfect. Um, this one's just the, the regular kind. And it's got a long crossbody strap on it. I feel that they could have done a better job at stuffing this bag though because it does look a little warpy. They only have this in it, but that's okay for this bag. There's nothing much to it. It's just an open, open little bag. You can get an option that has a zipper closure. I'm sure that's cute as well. This one I just chose the standard, which is a little bit cheaper, and it's got the little snap here. They've got plastic on the snap. That's a nice snap though. Their materials are really good, I have to say. And I love the smell of the nutmeg leather. It smells so good. No feet or anything on the bottom. Just a tiny little bag. Let me measure it for you guys. <clears throat> Isn't that so cute for summer though? I don't know. I don't know if the colors are coming through. I think they're coming through fine on uh, camera, but it's kind of like a yellow ochre color. You've got cream colored stitching and then a purple flower, like a deep purple, and then kind of a burgundy red flower really cute. So this little baby is, it is about seven and a half inches tall. I did not get the measurements online 
from the site. Sometimes those are wrong anyhow, so I like to give you guys the actual, <laughs> if I can do this, the actual measurement of the bag when I get it. And this one is, oh, right, almost at 11 inches across at the middle point, because it does taper down a little bit at the bottom. At the bottom, it is nine inches. And then what I like about this one compared to the other little small or mini crossbodies is it has the rolled handles, which I love. So that's a four inch handle drop. And then of course you have the detachable crossbody strap and the length of that is gonna vary depending on how you have it set. But um, from what I know from my other bags, it's a fine um, drop for a crossbody. It's, it's just fine. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight adjustments. So they have plenty of adjustments. They always have this little end piece here to hold down the strap, which I appreciate. And it got a little twisty the way they had it in there, but isn't that cute? And it feels really lightweight too. I am definitely moving right into this. I wasn't sure what bag I was going to carry today, but this is going to be it. That is so cute. And it's just the perfect little crossbody size. I don't, you know, I have a medium, their medium crossbody tote and it's, I like the size of it for a hand carry, but as a crossbody, just on me, it feels really a little bit too big and bulky. So I like having the mini mini size. This is similar in size to the mini crossbody tote that we all know and love. No pockets on the outside or inside, but it is so adorable. And like I said, I love that they don't have the pattern going on the back. And I think that's really interesting because I don't feel like they showed the back at all in the pictures. So I think we're kind of under the impression that it goes all the way around and it doesn't. So some people might not like that. So just keep that in mind. But I, for one, love it because then I can carry it either way. If I don't feel like being floral, I can have this side. And this is my first raindrop bag. I really like it. I think it's adorable. So there's that. And then the thing I forgot about, but I'm now actually very excited to move into, is this, of course, I had to get an SLG if I'm dealing with Portland leather, right? They have some of the best SLGs. And I wanted to try this one, but I've been hesitant because people said that the uh, cards don't really fit well in it, but it's the little mini daisy. And it's so cute. Apparently, these do stretch out as you wear it. Um, I can't... Oops. I can't remember what this pattern is called though. Let me see if it's anywhere in the box. Uh, of course, they don't have a receipt or anything in the box, which is odd, but I will look it up and then I'll just put the information for both of these pieces down below. But isn't that pretty? I wanna say it was um, Dahlia, something like that. It's got some floral name to the embossing, but it's kind of that Western embossing with the um, floral. So I thought it would be fun to get two pieces that were limited edition. So I don't know how long they're gonna have these available. <clears throat> I know that this folklore has been around for, I don't know, maybe a year, but they don't always have it on the same bags. Usually they'll have it definitely on the circle bags and maybe the Eclipse or something or other little dop kits. But um, yeah, I don't think they usually have it on other bags. So I wanna make sure that I got both of these, but this is really adorable. Let me see how my cards fit in it. Hold on just a second. And I just realized this entire video is recording going the wrong direction. So I'm gonna try and fix that. Hopefully it'll be <laughs> okay, gosh. One of those things is like, you can't redo what you've already done. So, but let me make sure cards fit. Yeah, they fit fine. No problem at all. I'm sure it'll stretch out, you know, as I use it, but I like having a little card holder like this rather than just the kind that's like a little open envelope. I like my cards to be covered. That is perfect. Very cute. And I think it would fit probably as it is about, I don't know, it'd probably get a little hard to pull out if you have more than six cards in here, but as it loosens up, I'm sure you can add more. But that is really cute. I am happy with both items. And I don't see any flaws on either one of them either, which is nice, because I had a feeling 
Usually I get the um, almost perfect to save a few bucks, but the sale was so good. I think this was 85, I think this was $20, something like that. And like I said, I'll put the links in the description box, but yeah, I was suspecting I would get something with a flaw in it anyhow. And this does not seem to have any at all. It looks great, super adorable, I love that. And I like how these are uh, stitched on so that they're not glued on. They're actually stitched, so I think these will last forever, hopefully. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.